This is Isaac Ferry with Crop Tech Consulting bringing you this week's edition of Technology Tuesday. One of the most important settings uh, on the planter unit itself is the contact area of the disc openers. So what our goal here is, is to make sure we have adequate contact of the two disc openers at the front edge. And that's what's going to create our true V in the trench. If these are too far out, we're going to end up with what we call a W bottom and we're going to have seed depth issues where our seed depth is going to be erratic across the field. So typically how we would set this, in this case on a, on a uh, 2600 series Kinsey or a deer type planter, is we're going to aim for about two inches to two and a quarter inches of contact up here at the front. The easiest way to measure that is to take a couple of business cards. We can actually slide these up between the disc openers, one from the bottom. until it sticks and one again in the front down from the top until they stick in the blade opening itself. We can then measure between those and make sure our contact is adequate. Uh, so again in this case for a Kinsey or a deer row unit we're going to look for two to two and a quarter inches. Another important part of this you can see here we've actually got it marked out in chalk is we want to check that at multiple locations around the disc openers. So in this case we're going to rotate it uh, 90 degrees and we're going to check it in four spots on the disc opener itself. So in each one of these, we should have two to two and a quarter inches of contact area when it's lowered down in the front. If these are different, what has happened is one of two things. Either we've got warped disc blades or we've got a bearing problem in here where these blades aren't running true. Uh, so again, we want to shim these uh, with, our, with our bushings, our spacers behind here, and we're aiming for two to two and a quarter inches of blade contact. All right, in this case here, we're working on a Great Plains row unit. It's got a little bit different disc opener setup. So here on the Great Plains unit, on the right side, they have what's called a leading disc, and on the left side, a trailing. Uh, so you can see as I got my business cards slid in here, the right disc sticks in front of the, the left one about a quarter inch. Because of that and the thickness of the disc, there's going to be a little bit different setting here. In this case, we're going to shoot for an inch to an inch and a quarter of contact area. And just like the Deer or Kinsey units, we're going to check that at multiple locations around the disc. Here we're looking at a Case IH row unit. And similar to the Great Plains, uh, we have a leading and a trailing disc. The other thing is that the disc openers on a case planter, there's a specific right and a left. So we need to make sure we got those put on there correctly. A lot of times we see those reversed. The other thing uh, to note is that contact area on the front of these disc openers isn't near as important as it is on the other row units. The reason being is that we have this firming point down here to form our true V in the bottom of the trench. So when we set our case disc openers, we want them just to contact or have a gap no larger than the width of three business cards. Uh, so again, we don't want them too tight together, um, but we're going to rely on this firming point in the bottom of the seed trench to form our true V. We're not worried about the W bottom coming off the disc opener itself. Thank you for watching this week's edition of Technology Tuesday. Please check our website for more information and other videos.